A terrific accomplishment for a young pitching prospect from Kitchener. This is Calvin Ziegler, who is signed to Division I school in the NCAA at the University of Connecticut. Awesome for you, Calvin. Congratulations. Why was Connecticut the best fit for you, and how proud are you to be going down south on a D1 scholarship? Uh, I'm obviously very proud to be able to uh, fulfill the dreams I've had for a while now. Um, some of the reasons I've went there is obviously the coaches. It's a big deal because if you don't have the proper coaching, you're not going to be able to really succeed where you go. And then also when I went on my visit, I noticed how like happy and all the uh, excitement that came off from the uh, team play, uh, team members. So that was obviously a big part of it. And then obviously just it was closer to home. Not It wasn't too far down south like eight hours away, so it's not a problem coming back. How much work goes into this? Because it's such a process, and you should be really proud because Division I scholarships do not fall into people's laps every single day. Obviously, you're a talented right-handed pitcher and with a very bright future. How much goes into this, and how long have you dreamed about an opportunity like this, Calvin? Uh, like I've said, I've dreamed about it for a long time, but uh, people don't really get, get to see all the hours and the training that everybody puts in, no matter what level you play at. So. It's pretty fun to just play the game every day. The training is definitely not the easiest part. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the harder parts. Just lifting four times a week, mm -hmm. getting up early, driving out to the training facility every day. Um, it's, it's not easy. It makes it that much more gratifying, though, when you get to see what happens to you in the end, getting a Division One scholarship. A lot of people along the way obviously had an impact on you in terms of your development or driving you around or various and different things. Who are some of those people you'd like to give a shout out to that helped Calvin Ziegler attain a D1 scholarship? Uh, so the people who really made this happen were my parents first. My mom, my dad, my stepmom, my stepdad. They're the reasons I really got out, put the work in. They got me to where I needed to be. And then the people who really like helped me succeed and just fine tune everything were my coaches and my friends. So um, obviously the coaching would be Jeff Young, Dave Schmidt, Pete Bateman, uh, Greg Hamilton, the junior national coach, uh, Chris Robinson, my new head coach, uh, Adam Stern, and John Fitzsimmons, my new pitching coach. So those are the people who have just really helped me succeed so far. Let's speak about the junior national team. Obviously a wonderful experience for you, having the opportunity to represent our country. You're wearing the, the Canada baseball logo proudly on your chest. How was that experience? You went down to Florida, obviously you got to learn and develop there as well. What can you say about the foundation that was built and how you're better because of being part of that junior national team? Um, the program's really well put together. Uh, the head coach, Greg Hamilton, has really done a good job with it. And I'd just like to thank him again for everything he's done. Mm -hmm. um, but just getting down there and just seeing like the talent that all these like teams and players have mm -hmm. around the country, mm -hmm. and like because we're not just playing kids our age, we're playing some like professional athletes at the same time too. So you get to see where you have to be when you get to that level, and just how much better you have to actually get. Who are you as a pitcher? I've heard a little bit about your fastball, but you're also working a change up into your arsenal in the attempt and the goal to get batters out. That's obviously the bottom line in all this. Uh, your fastball in the mid 80s, sometimes in the low 90s, um, that's great for your age. You're 17 years old and that's only going to get stronger. Obviously, as you get bigger and, and stronger as you head down south and get the development with the University of Connecticut. But tell me about yourself as a pitcher and really what your attributes are. Uh, so yeah, like you said, I obviously throw a hard fastball. Um, I have a hard curveball as well, which I throw. That's usually my go-to to get batters out. Mm -hmm. So obviously those two are like the main foundation of my pitching. But uh, obviously, like you said, I'm trying to work in a changeup now just to keep batters off the fastball, which is a big deal when it comes to uh, getting outs. Because if, if they can sit on one pitch, it's going to be pretty easy for them to hit. Yeah. Calvin, where does your love and passion for the game come from? You grew up in this area here in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is obviously a hotbed for baseball. And we also want to throw in that you are eligible for the Major League Baseball draft in June of 2020, which is just kind of cool to say that you could potentially hear your name called. You've been around for a long time, for over a decade playing this game, and you still love it. And when you find something you're good at, obviously you wanted to chase it. And maybe that leads to your name being called in June. How much do you think about that? Uh, so yeah, I, I think about the draft quite a bit. Uh, when we start getting closer to it, I definitely will. But um, it'll be it'll be exciting to see what happens then. But obviously, like before that, like I've been playing for a long time, mm -hmm. so there's definitely some passion behind it. And like depending on what happens, even if I don't get drafted, I'm still fine like with going to UConn, which it's 
but it's still pretty cool to say. Yeah, that'll be a great opportunity. We'll wait and see what happens. Know this, Calvin. We're all very happy for you. Congratulations on your commitment to the University of Connecticut and best wishes in the Major League Baseball draft when that comes around next June. Thank you. That is Calvin Ziegler, a student at St. Mary's High School here in Kitchener, signing a Division I scholarship for baseball at the University of Connecticut. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.